Hey, how you doing? This is Martone, owner and trainer of Fuller Fitness, and this video <coughs> is about doing um, a chest exercise using uh, resistance bands. And it's important to me um, to do this because there's so many ways to increase your strength without having to spend as much money, without having to use as much space. So for me, um, something I've wanted to do for quite a while now, and as of, I think, almost a week ago, about a week ago, now that I have this, I can do more to uh, help myself with the workouts that I do, as well as help you for those who uh, watch this. And hopefully you give this video a like if you actually like it, and hopefully you share with people who might be interested as well. Because, especially for those who have who saw me do certain things at the gym in Rochester uh, for the 36 years I was there. And now for almost a year, I've been here in Amherst, New York. So for those of you that are in Am Amherst, New York and saw some of the stuff that I do. And then for those of you that have seen some of the stuff that I do here on YouTube with this channel that I have. So again, hopefully you give this video a like um, for those who are interested in uh, increasing their strength doing it at home without spending a lot of money, without needing and using a lot of uh, space, um, and possibly being able to use this uh, if you have other people that live with you, um, that live with you who might be able to use it as well. So for one, being able to use bands, uh, let me see. So I have something called a Anywhere Anchor hooked up back there um, and one of the reasons I have it hooked up back there so that I can uh, put it back there be able to use it the way I want to as far as doing my chest press um, as well as actually having a decent angle to be able to record it as well so with that having that there having the band here um, the more if you haven't seen any other video I've done using bands the more you stretch a band, the more challenging um, the exercise is, the workout is that you're doing, or at least trying to do. Um, I have two bands. One band, one band is equivalent to 40 pounds, and that's before you actually start doing anything. The more I stretch it, the more it's going to feel like a lot more than 40 pounds. That's one. Then I have another band which is equivalent to 13 pounds. But again, that's before you actually start moving it. Again, the more you stretch it, the more you're going to feel it, uh, which makes it more fun for me. Um, and hopefully for you too, for those who use bands sometimes, often, whatever it might be for you. So then you take your bands, hook it up to whatever you're going to hook it up to, because again, you can use a, a door anchor for those who get those when they get their bands from wherever they get them from keep your chest up make sure you don't have any slack in the band and start doing a uh, hundred reps unless that's your goal but make sure you stand um, I think you should stand with one foot behind for the sake of balance make sure there's no slack in the band hopefully you can see that little bit of slack make sure there's no slack there so make sure there's tension on the band when you start. All right, keep the chest up. Pick the amount of resistance for the bands that you're gonna use or at least want to try to use and give it a go. Again, this is the focus here is on strength. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do six reps. Now, due to where I lived previously, I was not able to do this due to not having living where I lived and using a door anchor. So instead of using a door anchor and not having a space that I wanted to do it, um, I had the space, but because of using a door anchor, I wasn't able to do it at the angle that I wanted to and hoping that I didn't break the door down. So again, using my power rack that I just got 
hook that up there. And again, that's what I choose to do. So if you can, if you, and, and not that it matters, but I don't get paid to do this. So this is up to you if you do it. Uh, as far as buying bands, I've been using body elastics for at least 17 years, um, possibly longer. I'm not sure. But I've been using bands for at least 17 years, possibly 18. Um, I like them. I love them, actually, especially with the upgrades they've made over the years. Um, so, again, if you want to use a door anchor, have at it. I currently prefer to use this. That's one of the reasons I bought this and being able to do pull-ups. But being able to hook up this anchor so that I can utilize it while I'm doing back uh, chest and whatever else I might be doing and having the space to do it because I have all this space and then having the space to be able to do my chest press right here without me hitting a couch or door um, or anything else and I'm hanging by myself so that helps too all right so I'm going to do a second set doing a chest press um, again you can either use another band if you have a thicker band you can add a band to it but and then you can also stretch um further or stand further away from your base holding the bands try to stand further away so i'm gonna try to do that it already feels challenging so i don't know how much further away i can stand <sighs> keep the chest up and don't, don't so don't like use your whole body to do it that's another thing i like about bands if you can't do it you, currently, you just can't do it. So you're just going to have to get in. Ooh. So see, I can actually do it. If it's too heavy for a certain person, they'll just be standing here playing around with it, trying to do it, and just can't do it. And if, if you're at that point, that's okay. Because now you know what to try to progress to. I think I got three more. So that's just one of the many options that you have using bands. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do one more. I was only going to do one for you, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do one more. So now I'm going to do flies. Okay, so let me move my dumbbells out the way because I do still use those so this isn't to say that you should only use bands but depending on what you do I want people to know that instead of just using bands for rehab you can use them for strength so now to do flies in fact let me go ahead and turn around so to do flies okay Stand away from your base so that you can get the stretch. So that you can get your stretch of the exercise. And then all here. Then hopefully if you can, turn around and do the same thing. Stand away. Okay, so you won't be able to see me because of the angle. Three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to do one more for you. So you can, since you couldn't see me um, with that angle. So again, get that stretch. And this is for when you're using bands. Get that stretch and so your strength training, so don't worry about speed. And even though you can't see it, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. Okay, so I was going to give you one, but why not go ahead and give you two? So, again, it's all about making sure there's no slack in the band, stretching it, depending on how tall you are, and depending on which exercise you're going to do, you're doing, 
you're going to feel it more than some others. Doesn't mean you're stronger. Maybe you are, but it doesn't mean you're stronger. Again, it depends on the, which band you're using, um, how tall you are, how much resistance you're using, and if you're doing it correctly. All right, so to be able to get that chest press in, again, if it's too hard, it's just like if you're on the bench. If you can't do it, it just gets to the point where you can't do it. You can't cheat by arching and doing all that. That's one of the reasons I love bands so much, because if you can't do it, you can't do it. And at this point, that's okay, um, especially if you don't have previous experience with bands. Um, so again, if you, if you haven't given bands a try, I think you should go ahead and give them a try. If you have given the bands, uh, given bands a try and you gave up on them, I would like to encourage you, encourage you to get back into it because again, they work, they feel really good. You don't have to spend as much money. And if you have people that live with you, they can use it too, as long as they know what they're doing. And then if you need or want help, I can actually do that, whether it's with a video that you watch here or with the link I'm gonna put below to where you can hire me to be your online personal trainer, whether that's live online or where we see each other and hear each other and I can help you live or follow along workouts to help you in that way. So it's up to you with that. This is Martone, owner, trainer, pool of fitness. Take care.